and then give it a little shake. And try to shape it up a little bit. And then reduce the heat because it's a little bit too hot. And then I take a uh, salt and pepper. Okay. That cut it in half. That's what I usually do. Okay. And then I flip it. It's a little overcooked, but it's okay. I have to figure out how to do the salt and pepper. That's why. That's terrible, but okay. That's about it. I need to turn down even more. I think I think it's like super loud. This is cooked. Uno. See what you want. You don't want to have a, a brown like layer around it. That's like overcooked. It's okay though. If I put butter like that when it's already hot pan, I have to do it fast, otherwise uh, it browns up and it ends up tainting my, my taste on my eggs. So I gotta go quick. Oh, yuck. Oh, no. No! Ah. Not too bad. I cut too early, so it was it kind of wobbled a little bit. It's okay though. Now this pen is hard. This is this is a good pen. This is not like your typical dog shit pen. It's ready to go. 
Flip that motherfucker. If you, if you fuck with me, G-O-D. Oh, oh no. Oh, GG. It needs to be reflipped because the, the uncooked shit was like. That one's chill. Dude, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Holy shit. Okay. I don't know how I'm gonna do this with one hand, but I guess I can figure it out. Normally those you can just do in the microwave with some uh, uh, towel paper, which is fine. Yeah, it's haram, but it is what it is. I'm currently not Musliming, so like, I can kind of like spiritually afford to do this. I go over here like this. I open the motherfucking. Fucking brother. Come on. Yeah, shit. I could probably um, start cleaning up a little bit. Fuck, dirty. Okay, put that shit back in.
I'm gonna give it a flip and I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna, hi, beep, beep. Not bad. Bro. Chill out. Yeah, you're know, talking all day. She just talks all day, dude. At this point, I think my brother like conditioned the cat. Uh, by accident to like talk pretty much because they always respond this and then she talks more and more It's almost like she knows like talking equals food Because like she'll talk they'll talk and then she'll get food so it's like I think her brain thinks like the more I talk the more food I get so she just talks all day Get one of the knives Okay, anyway. CS Kitchen. Bro. Oh yuck! Oh oh my god! I think this one this one's old as fuck. Yuck! It's molding. That's not the correct one. It's not done yet. I I, I eat it. This one. Yeah, I need that many, trust me. I know what I'm doing, brother. No, 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 what's the special? Okay, it's ready. Okay. Okay. 
Ne? Okay, this should be done now. Something's not close, right? So cute. Look at my living room. I designed it. You like it? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, chill. Put them in my pocket. Oh yeah, look at this. Holy. Holy. the core. Holy. Oh shit, is that a leak? One, six, five. Yeah, doesn't matter. That's about it. And look, my granddad and uh, my granddad drew that. Is me and my brother. All the lights are all closed by themselves and shit. It's like all automated. I'll watch like a small video until I go next. And I might have a headache. It's kind of bad. Once he reached the pinnacle of fame and fortune, he realized it was all a lie. Hollywood sold Jim Carrey the dream. You're gonna be a big star. This next opportunity is going to be your breakout moment. He became addicted to this and spent half of his life failing to develop a successful career. He was desperate for the acceptance and approval of others who were willing to discard him whenever they pleased. Yet through the power of divine intervention or just pure talent, he finally made it. He made classic films and multiple genres, generating billions of dollars and inspiring people Who's all over gold, the yeah. world, okay. and yet he felt empty, alone, lacking purpose and identity. And once the Hollywood facade veered its ugly head, <clears throat> Carrie did not run away. Instead, he used his platform to expose the soulless, evil industry that's praised by innocent people 